Welcome to Python with Andrew, where we look at um, different ideas and different concepts with Python. Um, each video, small, short, sharp videos. And I thought in this video I'd be a bit more um, controversial with my comments because um, I keep seeing a lot of people using while true. And I don't like that. Or I don't like the way that they're using it. So I'm going to say I hate while true with my little angry icon there. Um, and I guarantee that there'll be people that disagree with me. Absolutely. And, and if you do, put it in the comments. It would be great, as long as you're respectful, um, because people will have different views. I'm going to present my thoughts on this topic. And you can then look at others and you'll see different people that do it, and you can make your own decision. But uh, I personally don't like the way that while true is used. But let me explain, because there is there is a use for it. All right, let me go over and, and have a look at some um, the code. So let me just uh, clean up that my code a bit, my space a bit, and uh, let's make it a bit better. Then. Okay. So the while loop, as we've talked about before, and I've got some other videos on the while loop, um, is normally while condition, some sort of condition, keep doing these statements. So the typical use of while uh, is quite easy. While, let's say x is greater than 10 to while x greater than 10. Just uh, fix it up a bit. Yes, no, of course, I've just spelled while wrong, or capital while. Um, while x is greater than 10, let's start off with x is, x is equal to 0. Um, while x is greater than 10, we do something like print hello. And we would then... x plus equals one okay so that would be our typical way of doing a while loop. while condition print hello um and then there are cases where we say we want to keep doing this until um, we get some change in value of um, the while loop or the x value and so we often see something along the lines of where people use the while true so they go while true, and then they say answer equals input. Uh, doesn't matter what uh, command. I can spell my command correctly. Then they might say if answer equals stop and break else print command it's a similar like that yeah print the answer okay so <clears throat> often people write a while true loop where they're basically saying i want this to continue forever and i'm going to continue to get the command um, but in the one case where the command is, say, stop, or the one case where I want to finish the loop, I'm going to use the break command here. And then they've got else, or they might have elif, and it might be really complex underneath that. And they're saying, we're going to keep doing all this, but in the middle of it somewhere, I'm going to get a condition that says, I want to break out of that loop. This is the type of one that I do not like. Does this work? Absolutely it does. If I run this, uh, hopefully, oh, oh, let me, if I say this and clear that, let me try running it again. It asks for the command. And I, if I put in um, hello, oops, well, let me get that right. Let me run that command, hello, 
It'll ask again, and as soon as I say stop, it'll stop. So yes, it does work. That's not the problem. The problem is we've been saying while condition, while something is true, let's keep going. Well, in this case, we're saying we're going to keep going until the answer is stop. So in this particular case, I don't like to use the word while true because it's not forever. It's until it, the answer equals to stop. So I would rather see here, not while true, but while answer is not equal to stop, right? then in this case, it'll be just... I'll, I'll take that away to say it's the print answer. Right? Um, <clears throat> now, people will say, but I've got to assign answer to some value up the top here. And I might say, yeah, I'm gonna answer, I'm gonna do answer equals okay. But what I've done there, so hopefully now if I run this, let's see if I've got it right. And if I type in hello again, works. If I do stop, it should stop. Yeah, prints it and stops. Okay. And I can rearrange that a bit if I didn't want it to print the word stop or whatever it is. I think this is a much better way of having um, while loop because a while loop has a condition. This is the condition that I want to do all the time. And it's not forever. It's until it equals stop. Whereas when we use the while true, we're sort of saying true. We're sort of saying, let's do this forever. But we're not really saying that. We're saying, let's do this forever until it equals to stop. So I don't like this format there or the previous one I had. I prefer to put the condition in there. So that's why I say I hate while true. In fact, every time I see it in a program, I look for it and go, I hate that, I hate that. I always look to see whether or not they're using it properly. Now, I said there is one situation where I would use this while true. And that situation is when I actually want my program to run forever, right? Because while true means forever, not forever until it stops and not from ever until the, the user says stop, but forever. And you say, well, when do I want a program to run forever? I can think of a ton of examples where I'd want the program to run forever. For example, if I was um, writing a program that said, I want to get data from uh, the weather station weather station, all right? That's, I'm making this up, weather. Can't even spell weather, weather properly. Um, get data from the weather station and then print the data. Something like that. Data equals get data from the um, weather station and then print data. Excuse my... Um, bad spelling today. Um, so I might have a situation where I'm going to have a um, function that goes and gets some data from uh, an Internet of Thing item, like a, a thermometer, and then I'm going to print it. I assume I could do something different with it. I put it in the database, I do some math on it, etc. But at the moment, I'm just printing it to show you my example. But the idea is I'm going to go to that um, device and get some stuff, and I'm going to keep going. Now, once I start running this program, I want that to run forever, right? Or until there's power outage or, or something like that. But I, I intentionally want it to run forever. So that's when a while true uh, is, is really good. So I might be picking up data from a device, like a, a weather station or or maybe I was making a space shuttle or a space rocket that was going to go forever and into space. And I want it to read the temperature outside um, every minute and send it back 
to um, to mission control. Well, I want that to go forever. So when I say the one case I would use the while true is when I really want it to be forever. All right. So I hate while true if we actually say I'm just too lazy. I'm going to do a um, if it's stop then break. I hate that, but I do like it when it's a forever uh, program. All right. And many, many of you certainly starting out are not writing forever programs, but you'll often see this habit of saying, I can write, write the, uh, and here's another one, I can copy it over here. I can, as an example there. Um, all right, so while true, um, end your command, if it's stop, then break, et cetera, et cetera. So I can, I can do that um, and, and show that one, all right? So that one I don't like, this one I don't mind. Right. So I just wanted to share that one. Tell me what you think in the comments, whether you prefer the idea of using the up the top here where you use the condition explicitly so the person reading the program knows exactly how long this, this loop is going to go or whether you keep seeing this break one down the bottom here and you like that because it seems tricky or seems useful um, or whether you agree with me saying I'm happy to use while true if I had uh, if I actually truly wanted the program to run forever so let me know what you think in the comments make sure you're respectful otherwise uh, that wouldn't be much fun um, but that's why I said up front I hate the while true of course I don't really hate it people use it and that's fine what I really mean is I prefer that we use this sort of terminology where we put the condition up the top with the while loop. So let me know how you go. And of course, if you like Python with Andrew, uh, do subscribe and do share it with others. And tell, tell them, wonder what they think about my idea of uh, the while true. Thanks again and, and have a great day.